this is my first day really experimenting with um, the portal using Zoom. And so I'm going to walk you through some of the first experiences I'm having them. Right now, I'm just doing a conversational thing like I would do on a regular Zoom call. Um, what I'm noticing here is I'm not quite sure where to look. Um, I, if I look straight at the center of my camera, this is, sorry, at the center of my screen, this is the view that I'm going to look, get. If I look up to the corner at my camera, here's what I'm going to see. And in either case, I don't, I, I don't feel like I'm getting the same connection with my own image, if that makes sense, with, as I get on a laptop. So it's a little, taking a little while for me to adjust to that experience. But this is what it looks like for a regular conversation. I teach in a couple different venues that have a couple weird challenges. So I'm just going to show you what some of my challenges are. I'm going to play them through on the portal and then you'll be able to compare them to the side by side of the video of what it looks like when it's played from my laptop. When I'm teaching a toddler class, I want to be able to model having a child in my lap and doing some bounce songs with them. And here, you're going to see, I've got my child here, so I'm going to have to tip my camera down like that. Now you don't get my full face. I can try to scoot it back a little bit. Hang on my, well, yeah, now you got part of my face, part of my face out, okay? So I kind of have to hold it up here. I can't hold it quite in my lap. I still have a full view of this. And here I can hold my toddler in my lap. But still be far enough back that you can also see my face. I'm already bouncing up and down in my little red wagon, bouncing up and down in my little red wagon, or Chris cross applesauce. Bouncing up and down in my little red wagon, bouncing up and down in my little red wagon. And that works just fine on here. The other thing I can do is I show it on my, the child's back going Chris cross applesauce. Okay, so it's a fairly good demo with him, although it just is with my laptop. I can't get him all the way down to my lap and have the camera come down to pick that up because it wants to focus up here on my voice instead. Now let's try a movement song. We'll do head, shoulders, and even toes. You can see the first problem. So let's at least get head and shoulders in the picture. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders. Okay. Let's try the movement one. Oh, we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we stop. Oh, we walk. And we walk, and we walk, and we stop. Let's try out head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. It works fine, but it doesn't do anything really particularly special. Okay, let's try some movement songs. Okay. So we do a, a walking motion. So let's try moving over here. If the camera will come with me. I'll go, and we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we stop. And we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we stop. And we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we stop. Oh, we walk and we walk and we stop. So then we see some of the effects of the portal that is able to follow me around a little bit. It's not perfect and it takes a little moment to catch up to me. Um, and I wonder for the people observing it, whether it'd be distracting to have all of that movement or whether it'd be more engaging to have all of that movement. Science demos. And as I talk, it should still pick me up, but probably the mic is not picking up quite as well as the portal microphone did. If I have a big, something that needs a lot of space to move in, right, I always just want to see how the camera is going to handle that. So I can talk this one through and explain that as a centrifugal force demonstration. And I would put a pom pom in here and show them how I'm going to spin that around with that. And so the portal does a perfectly fine job of capturing this kind of big motion and it stays focused on my voice, which is exactly what I needed to do in this particular case.
this is just never going to be the good way to, to illustrate this particular experiment. It would always be better done with a document camera. But if I had to do it with the laptop, let's compare how this works. It's going to work. So let's try also doing the flat surface one. So it does work a little bit better on the portal for this in terms of I can bring this down. You can at least get a look at what I'm doing here. So the ball. And roll it up this way. Right. It's never going to be perfect, right? But I want to get a sense of is this going to work well. Now, I also want to know if I want to do a demo that's a flat demo, is it going to pick up my flat demo? So usually on a laptop, I would just tilt the laptop forward to show what was here. So I tip the laptop and it would stay there. The portal, I have to hold on to it here. So I have to figure out how to like not block off my hand. If I tip it forward and I have to hold it here. And so as I start to try to throw the ball, it's not showing the ball, right? It wants to come back up to my face. So let me try to work with that a little bit differently. Can I set it up here on the top? I think it's gonna to try to refocus on me. So it's not gonna work at all for those flat things. Now, luckily there are other solutions for the flat things, right? Having a document camera type setup. Um, but I was just curious whether this was gonna do anything for me. You can see if I can lean over, share here. Lean, rock back and forth, right? You can see if I want to do the belly lift. Can't see my head at the same time. But at least we've got a good view of that kind of lift and a pull back. Or you can see me when I'm doing my back massage techniques. But for this one, we have to face the wall. So I have to see if that the audio pickup is all right there. So. I teach toddler classes, I teach kids science classes. The other thing I teach is childbirth preparation. And so I also wanted to look at how the portal is gonna work for those things, okay? So in a childbirth preparation class, I wanna be able to teach people positions that are good comfort positions for labor comfort and, and also progress. One of the first positions I teach is always is bending over something. The nice upright forward leaning position that I talked about. And so this shows that I lean over the chair, start the rocking back and forth, picking it up okay. Right, but it like had me at the chair for a little while, but then it brought, came back up to my camera. I'm up to my face. And so I wanted it to stay down more where, where they could see the chair. Um, it's losing that, okay? Another position I wanna be able to demonstrate is I wanna be able to demonstrate a belly lift. So I wanna be able to say, you put your hands down here below your belly and you'll see what happens. The camera's not following my hands below my belly. The camera's following my voice, right? So I, I like to just put your hands here underneath your belly. It's not showing. Same thing will happen if I try to display a back massage technique. I say, put your hands right here on the back, and it's staying up with my voice. I can try to figure out, you know, can I pull it to follow me down, right? And it doesn't always reliably follow. So it's not working very well for what I was hoping with those um, labor positions in massage. I can get a broader view, but it's not doing a good job following where I want to draw the attention to. Now, there is a manual camera control, so let's go ahead and switch over to that. And basically you pull up a thing here on the bottom, we can control our camera, I can set it to manual. Now that I've got it on manual, I can adjust it to kind of think where I want it to focus. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. So it kind of does more of a full body shot. I can also zoom in, or I can zoom out with that, okay? But I want a pretty full view right now, so I'm gonna use all the way zoomed out and down a little bit. So now here, here I'm able to do that demonstration of Put your hands below your belly, lift up, rock back, right? I can do my back massage demonstrations here, and it's going to stay with me. Um, so the nice thing is I've got a nice wide lens camera. It's got a good mic, so it's picking everything up well, but I'm not getting really the full advantage I had hoped for of that ability for it to follow me um, as I move around the room. So you can see for a dance class, in order to have my full body shot that goes from head to toe, it's going to be pretty far back from the camera, which means I'm also a long ways away from my microphone. And I only have a limited range in which you're going to be able to see. Now, obviously, I could also be in a room where I have a little bit more horizontal range. But in terms of to and from the computer range, there's not a lot to work with here. So if I wanted to demonstrate some steps, that'd be up, 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 flat, up, up. Oh, can't do an either up, up, flat. Right. There's some real limitations, obviously, with dancing anyway. Um, but the laptop kind of further accentuates that. Yeah. Um, 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 um. 
And my husband teaches Renaissance dance classes, so I also wanted to play with whether or not this would be effective at a full body experience. So I'm going to back up a little bit, see how well it stays with me. Because what I'm hoping is that it will find enough of my body. Ideally, it would have my have, would be able to go all the way down to people's feet, see if it sees a good job of footwork. But at least we're getting the majority of the body here. Then if I wanted to do some steps, I might do a step, step, up, up, down, up, up, down. You can see it adjusts to me, but not very quickly. Um, so over time, it gets there. A lot of us, I have to wait for it to get all the way over here. Now, obviously, again, that's with the follow me feature. Let's try doing the manual settings and see what that gets us. So by using a manual setting, that actually probably works better for a dance class setting because I can get to the place where I've got full body coverage that's from head to feet, um, and you have the ability to move around within this space somewhat. And obviously, in a different shaped room, I would have more horizontal movement as well. And one of the questions is, how does it, how effectively does it pick up the voice? And especially if I need to turn away, is it still able to pick up the voice? And again, as I move forward, 